where am I going to, I have to pre-cut my legs? Oh my God, do I hate that! What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes just to be doing a review on a device that I was sent for the purposes of the review. Oh man, I feel like I'm not going to be saying that sentence a whole lot in the next year or so. Oh, right. Everybody knows this company, QP Design. The amount of products that this company has made has been quite substantial in the past year. They've made the Fatality, the 25, the Single, the Dual. Uh, they're also coming out with a new mod. Now they've made, oh, oh, they've also made the Kali, the Kali V2. I have not opened this up. It is not sealed. However, I can trust anything that Phil is going to send me, whether or not it's going to look like just like everybody else's products. There's been a couple times where I've taken off the drip tip and I've seen some of the funky monkeys. But usually when he sends me stuff, he sends me all this crazy Who's he what's it? I got these little keychain jammies, which they're like mini lanyards, which is pretty cool, I guess. I got two of those. Really nice marketing. I could I could dig it. Then you got these poppers. I know that they have a name. I just can't remember what they're called. Now, these are like the cheaper versions, but there's ones that actually come out and they lock in place and well this locks in place, but it actually snaps into each bracket. They go on the back of your phone, and then you can set it up so it's like a little stand. Don't really use those. I also got this, which I'm assuming is either a mouse pad or a building pad. And I'm not going to use either of those because I, all the mice that I use are uh, little finger roller jammies. I don't have any kind of traditional mouse. All right. like a blue camo don't really know what the environment is what that would be for maybe the water and seaweed or something that's fun maybe he wants me to put that on a bottom as i do a build so that promotes him subliminally as you watch it you just see his website down in the corner <sighs> the way that i understand this rta is to be a mouth to lung or a restrictive direct lung and that's really my field not so much the mouth to lung side but really the direct lung and not super airy. I know that there's a lot of people that like those really, really open type of drawers, but drawers, drawers, drawers are what belong inside of a cabinet. Nope, that would be shelves. Drawers would be what's inside of a A dresser. The reason why I'm going to show you this is because this is a restrictive direct lung, the GT3, that you always see me use, and I use it all the way open. This is the kind of vape that I get from it. I really, really like this style of vaping. Well, I'd be lying to you if I said that's what I really, really like. That's my favorite type of vaping. Then, obviously, I got, like, the Jenna RDA or the 502. Very airy, but can be restrictive type of deal. Usually, QP has got pretty big boxes with a lot of different things inside of it. I'm just, we're just going to do this real quick. And this has a lot of stuff on the inside of it in this tiny little box. So without further ado, the GATA RTA. Flip it. So what you're looking at is the GATA 2-in-1 RTA QP design on the top of the box. Some of the little icons. And then on the bottom, this product contains nicotine, which is a highly addictive substance. That may be a requirement for over in Canada to put that on there. On the side of the box, nothing. On the other side, the color configuration. I do believe this comes in black and stainless steel. There may be one other color. On the back side of the box, just go ahead and give that a freeze frame because there are a lot of bulleted things down there. I find it's a little odd to put this right here in here, compatible with Saltnik, High VG, and 5050. This is going to be dictated by your build. Same thing with this one. This, mm, I don't know if I would have put that on a box. And then down here is all your different, let's see if we see any typos. I don't see anything. Looks pretty good. Wow, so you get two airflow rings, a two mil, and a four mil. Wow, there's a lot in here. And then there's social media. And keep in mind that they are designed in Canada, but they're made in China. Open it up. Here we go. So as soon as you open it up, you're going to get an authentication, authentication, authentication. Okay. So as soon as you open it up, you're going to get a 
authentication card with your serial number on there, a little sticker, and then the products while wow, there's a lot in here. Okay, this would be your two mil option, which feels like some type of polycarbonate. You gotta be careful with glasses like this because usually when you use acidic or some really fruity style juices, it's going to crack that. That is not glass. Yeah, that's plastic or something. <laughs> And then you're, I don't know what that was. That was a hiccup and a breath at the same time. Double down. <coughs> 510 drip tip on the inside. Let's see if you see any fingerprints on there. Hmm. Polycarbonate looks pretty good. And a lot of people usually confuse something like this, this polycarbonate to be PMMA, when in fact they're two different materials. Well, in a sense. Airflow ring, I'm assuming that is your direct lung jammy, and then your mouth to lung configuration. Holy cow, there's a lot of stuff here. I'm trying to figure out how one is two and the other one is four when the glasses literally are almost identical. Is that four mils? Glass four mil. Well, that's glass, but that literally looks like... Okay, so the polycarbonate is very, very short and non-replaceable, meaning you can't really separate it versus the glass that does come off and you can replace it. Maybe they're considering this to be 4 mil because of that extra little top section up here. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a mini version of the Fatality. No flaws on the inside of there. That's very impressive. We, we will be using the bigger option. Then, of course, you have the deck that's on the inside here. There's a little Ultim piece on the inside there. Is that a reducer? Vape band ring, some extra O-rings, a Barbie-sized screwdriver, and then some extra post screws. We will not be looking... Well, let me just pull it out so I could show you if I could figure out how, in fact, that works. It is so friggin' tiny. Oh, my goodness. Maybe that should have came in the tank already? Wow. And I'll pull it out that way. That is absolutely dainty as hell. And the deck. Well, that already has an insert on the inside of it. The insert that is in the deck looks to be exactly the same, so I didn't need to actually take that out. Yeah, it's exactly the same. So you just get a spare one. Extremely simple deck. Single coil. Do you see some of the tooling mark here? Nothing too crazy. What is badass about this is let's just say that you're using the super airy ring. You could take it off and say, you know what? I don't want that kind of airflow. I want more of a restrictive configuration. And then that's why you could just change the ring without going too far into depth. However, let me just put this on here. It does go on only... One way, yep. There's your airflow there, but you'll see on the other side that it's totally closed off where the longer one is, and then you can adjust it right there. What I really like is that little line that dictates where the airflow is. Really thoughtful. However, you could in fact turn this so it's where the wider one is, and then you can do it like that. I don't know why you would want to. What I'm gonna do is use the air one like the massive one right there. That's pretty nice. Very thoughtful. It'd be really cool if it was dual side, but I think that that should be enough for a single. Airflow is going to go directly through the center right there. You have your post inside of the deck. Very simple, man. Um, I really, really can dig it. For your drip tip on the top, really nice configuration. Yeah, really not bad machining at all. On the top, it's very difficult to see, but it does say Gata there, which is the name of the tank itself. There's really no dirties on the inside there. Off and on, basically open and close. You turn that all the way to the left. That opens it up. You fill it up, and then to put the cap back on, you close it down. I, oddly enough, they did go with a 510 configuration, and it kind of covers up just basically the top. However, there are going to be certain drip tips that may look a little peculiar on here because because they're not going to be so wide at the base. Really simple, man. I, I, I legitimately like this. So that's it. Let's put a build in it. Let's wick it up. And before I put a build in it, one thing to mention is if you do leave the ultimate insert in there, be very careful of how close that coil is. Because it's not like it's right above it. You can kind of bring it down. You really want to raise it up so it's not going to be laying directly on that. And you'll probably need that if you're going to do the mouth to lung configuration, not so much the direct lung like I'm doing. I like the tanks typically wide open and then I can adjust with the airflow ring very very rarely will you see an rta that doesn't have some type of adjustment that's it let's do it 
very nice threading. What you'll notice is you have that left to right configuration. So instead of wrapping your coil like you would clockwise, you really want to do counterclockwise because what's going to happen is, here's my fuse clamped and jam, you see? How that kind of jacks up the way that it is? When you turn it, see how this is right side heavy? You would have to kind of flip it and build it the other way. But it is what it is. We'll, we'll figure it out. Once again, that is the Gata RTA. Let's bring it on the top. All right, here we go. Back on top with the Gata RTA sitting on top of the haze mod. You better get your daddy on the phone. 44.5 watts on a 0.55. Here we go. Why? I hope I open that up all the way. Yep, all the way open. You probably cannot see, but that's all right. You're going to have to trust. Where you gotta try this? I love it. And its mouthpiece is so cute. It is, it feels nice. The mouthpiece reminds me of a slim down 502 drip tip. Wow. Phil, where'd you get that idea from? Bro. What the fuck, Phil? How do you like it? Okay, all right, let me tell you something. We all know I'm a big RTA fan. I, how do you like it? I like it a lot. Okay, everybody knows that I love RTAs. I don't know who, do you see it bubbling up right there? I don't know who told me this or where I heard it from that this was a restrictive type of hit. I may be misconstruing this or misinterpreting what someone said and that might've been a totally different device, but this is not restrictive at all it's not as airy as something like the intake or ugh, really giving a shout out to mike vapes there but it's not that type of airflow like that's a lot of airflow this is more okay but best example gt4 gt4 has got a little bit more than what this does gt3 it's got way more okay i realistically like this let me tell you why I like it. First off, the flavor, the airflow, no whistle, feels good, nice hit, nice draw. You know what your build is. Let me break that down for you. Like, if you have a short tank, Wasp Nano, the Gear RTA, when you build really high coils, Really high, I'm saying 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1.0, because I know a lot of people use the lower builds. I don't know why in that small of a tank, but when you have a coil that, that, that is that low, you are going to feel a lot of the heat of that coil, if that makes sense. And then when you have a tank like this that is a little bit taller, I don't know if I have a gear. Yes, I do. I have the Nano. This is the now. It's kind of the same deal, but with this, you're really going to feel that build. I know I've re never really used that as a reference point, but it's a really good way to know, okay, this is the way that I like to vape. Like, this is my shit. It's kind of the same type of throw of what the GT3 is. Let me try to line up. There you go. You see it? Now, obviously, I'm holding this a little bit lower, but I'm going from where the deck is to the deck, and you can kind of see it's maybe one mil, two mils taller. Wow, and you can see that it's still wicking up on the side. I like this RTA a lot. If there wasn't so much shit going down in the States right now, I would contact Phil, which he's gonna hear this review anyway. I was kind of nervous. I'll explain why in a second. But 
I would contact him and tell him I want to pick these up. Because it's the same thing that happened with the Fatality. I really, 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 really enjoyed that RDA. The only thing that he's ever made that I didn't like was the Kelly. And it's not like I thought it was terrible. It's just that when you make such a good product and then you make something that's subpar, it's like a letdown. It would be equivalent to you, whatever, loving Ferrari. Then all of a sudden, you know, they're making all these 488s and these Californias. Well, they don't make Californias anymore, but they're making all these Californias, 488s, all these sexy things, and then they come out with something that looks like a Ford Pinto. Not, that's not the direction that you would usually go down. This is a huge upgrade from the Fatality. This is the Juggernaut. I don't know where my Fatality is, but this I really thoroughly enjoyed. This blows this out of the water. Juggernaut Jammy. That's the link right there. And it looks good too. It's not a terrible looking device, but this just goes to show you that China can make quality products. That's not a problem whatsoever. But they usually don't do it on their own. You know what I mean? Like, you. I, I don't want to dig too far deep with China. I really don't. It's too soon. They're dealing with these tariffs. They, they don't want to be bothered right now. You know what I like about it, too? It's postless. You notice that? A lot of the RTAs that we're seeing now are postless. You don't see a lot of posted uh, type of RTAs. Fun fact for you, though, when postless came out, people hated it. They hated it so much. Where am I going to? I have to pre-cut my legs. Oh, my God. Do I hate that? Oh, please. Oh, I don't want to cut it. Oh. Calm, de calm, calm down. Calm, calm. I know that you buy your coils. Just do a little bit of extra snippage. What I really like about this is the drip tip. There's something about curved jammies that really, really... Ladies, you know what I'm talking about, right? Like, when it's curved, that just works. If it's straight, eh, not so much. I'm not going to be... Let me give you a better reference here so you can kind of gauge where I'm at. No pun intended. When you're vaping like this... That's when you know you've made it. Shit just got weird really quick. If I had to rate this RTA on a 0 to 10, I'm going to give this an 8 to an 8.5. No fingerprints, no dings, dents, burrs, burrs, cowboy boots. Granted, it was open and it is possible that Phil did in fact clean this up. I don't think he did though. I, I really, really don't. I don't have a lot of negatives for this. You will legitimately see me use this. Is it going to take the place of the, the Typhoon GT3? No, you, you must be out your damn mind. Absolutely not. Is it good? Yes. You have always heard me talk about the OBS nano engine. Matter of fact, here it is. But I don't know if you caught the video. There's a lot of videos on my channel to watch. But the problem I had with this jammy was the contact down here. And in the center, the actual post itself keeps coming out. There's no way to fix it. This, I would be totally fine with taking the place of this. What I really liked about this was the airflow, how easy it was, but the problem or the caveat was the way that you put the deck on, it, it had to like the, the center section spun a lot, so it was very difficult to grab. Really, honestly, the best RTA to come out of China going back five years. Not, not five, four years. Really, really good. This takes a place of that. The Wasp Nano and the gear were amazing as well, but they were very, very small tanks, and they didn't have a large capacity. This gives you the option of 2 mil or film for the champagne. This gives you the option of a 2 or 4 mil, so depending on how you want to vape, I guess that's where the salt nick comes in. If you want to use salt nick, you use the 2 mil option and put like a 2.0 build in there. Fuse Clapton, like dual 42 gauge with 54 on the outside. Cole is going to last all of 38 minutes and it's just going to break. It's good, man. Amazing. So if you have the option of picking up, I'm going to call this the Gata. I'm not going to call it the Gata. That sounds way too funny. 
fucking get it doesn't sound any better. So if you have an option of picking up this mini ass RTA from Cupid Designs, I absolutely recommend it. And I've kept it real. Have you?